my name is Issa Taiwo. I'm the presenter for today's show and I have Nice here with me. He is from, he's an artist from Nigeria, a musician actually, and he's right here with us in Dublin. Uh, nice, you're welcome to Dublin. Thank you. Can you tell us how you started music? Um, I started music um, in the year 2000, professionally. And um, since 2000, I have um, five albums to my credit. And um, I'm working on another double album, which is coming out in October. And was it in 2000 that it uh, become um, well known all over Nigeria? Yes. yes, yes. And uh, can you tell us before 2000, were you doing what actually inspired you to go into music itself? Um, I won't say anything inspired me. I think I would say the struggle of the nation dragged me to <laughs> to to do to do music because um, I was like every other youth out there that is trying to get something doing. And um, some are blessed, some are talented in football, some boxing, some wrestling, some music. So, and some are uh, academics as well. So, like every other youth out there where you do jam two times and they are not releasing your results, you do jam, or the results is not to what you needed to get into university. And then instead of just sitting back at home doing nothing, you venture into other things that you think at least keep you busy till you get the kind of result you needed to get to to get into university. So like every other kid out there, I said, okay, let me just do music while uh, so instead me just focusing my my attention on one thing. So I started to do music and uh, ever since that's been and since then you mm -hmm. yeah. So can you tell us what how many albums have you recorded since two thousand and uh since that two thousand to to date I have um, five albums to my credit. I'm working on, on another double album, which is coming out in October 1st. And which one do, would you say is most successful out of all your albums? Uh, well, I'll say, uh, if, I, if I should say the most popular, I'll say it's Kongwaso. Mm -hmm. But it's not the most successful for me. Support and in the bigger picture, um, artists have to go back to the studio recording songs every now and then just to keep singing, singing, singing. Whereas your 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 counterparts or elsewhere are not doing such. When Jay Z release an album, you just go on tour for like a month and that's it. A set on special occasion where he has to come up. If not, you won't see him performing for these people, performing for that people, far from here, losing his voice and all that. It doesn't happen like that. But we the artists, we have to go to so many shows because um, it's through those shows we, we make our money. Money is not coming in from CD sales, the album is so cheap and all that. So it's, it's not, those are the challenges I, I, I see these days. And the uh, Nigerian industry, uh, like you talked about the challenges in the industry, not just the industry, even with musicians. So what advice will you have, do you have for promoters out there? What do you think they should change about the industry that can, you know, Make it a better place for upcoming musicians as well. Uh, but in the industry back home, I think what we need to do, what needs to be changed is just we need, what we need is just government support and um, reducing piracy to, to 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 nothing because there is no way you don't find piracy. But piracy in Nigeria is is, is, is getting like almost a hundred percent. We almost ninety nine point nine percent. We are battling with the one percent. So if we can push piracy to like one percent and the industry is getting 99.9% .9 then we're fine. So just the piracy and um, the, the, uh, the, price, the price of the, uh, the, the album, the quality of the album, and the kind of song we put out there, those are the things that we, we should work on and what brings us together. Like um, the, the umbrella that we all artists are under, which is the P-Man, needs to be restructured and things should, you know, should be better people put in place. Uh, what makes you so different from other artists, especially Nigerian artists? Am I different? Yeah, you are different. Uh, your songs are different. Oh, yeah. my songs is different. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> uh, because I, I decided to be different. Because um, for for you to, to have um, the kind of attention, the kind of attraction, the kind of um, 
fan fan base, you, you need to be different. You need to be doing something more creative, something extraordinary, something that can something that can carve a niche for you. That okay, even when people buy other people's CDs, I have to buy this guy's CD because it's different. It's good. Once you have that, then you have huge demands. Once you have that, you have fan base that will never go down. Why is it that you use problems for your your songs? Why do you, is that the way of expressing what you feel about Nigeria itself, about your family? Um, I, I use proverb because um, it's my local dialect. I use it because um, oh, yeah, I have to be creative. I use it because um, it's very easy for me to use. I use it because um, it's my local dialect. I use it because um, it's rich in terms of um, wisdom. It's rich. The richness in, in, the, in the proverbs is, is um, it's unquestionable, and um, I find it so easy to use my local dialect than any other language, and that's the means I can talk to the streets and uh, the people who, are, who come from my my background. Um, why do you is your name nice or it's just a stage name? Um, it's just a stage name. Uh, my real name is um, Alexander Abolore Adibola Adigma Lakomiji Ajifola Ajifola. That's my name. And I knew you also performed with Mr. Mandela, you performed at the Mr. Mandela yes, band. Yes. And how do you feel about it? Well, I feel like... such a, a well-known man, known all over the world. Well, I, I feel great and I feel honored to have um, performed at uh, Nancy Mandela and Nancy Pepe because um, it's such a, a great honor, it's such a, a great icon in Africa, in Africa as a continent because he has done so much for South Africa and he has done so much for the Black race. So for me, being able to be there, to participate and it, at his 90th birthday is, 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 is wonderful. So what do you adv uh, advise you, what advice do you have for your friends out there? And uh, what, I know I asked you before that you, you said you're inspecting uh, music coming up soon, but what advice do you have for upcoming artists? And, fans actually are inspired by your songs and they want to be like you um for all those upcoming artists out there i'll say um the sky's the beginning do all you can um write all the songs possible when you are yet to be to, you know to be out there in people's face because it's what you have done then that works for you when you're out there because when you're out there you have less time to write less time to to make sure that things are in order so Take all the time now to write all the songs you can ever write. Be tight. Learn from those that are there before you and the skies. The skies are beginning. So can you just perform one song for us for people that don't know? Uh, are you guys going to be? Yeah. We are going to be in the crowd. <laughs> so once I see the check out. <laughs> <laughs> no, just say something for us. We are the most incredible out of Niger, straight from Niger. Street credibility we get on. Check my fans while I, aye aja, no be lie, fear am, no be lie, hear am, no be lie, e yi mu no be lie, kini un lo Thank you very much. Thank that you. was a great one. Thank you very Bye -bye. much. <laughs> well, that's all from uh, Vimi TV today, and that's nice. Thank you very much for. You're welcome. Visiting us in Ireland, and we hope to see you again someday. Thank you.